PTA president and Darlene, your corresponding secretary, coming to you with another edition of Lowry Leopards TV. And today we're gonna to talk about some e-learning tools. While we are waiting for the district to give us more direction and teachers and administration from Lowry to give us more direction, we're just gonna go over a couple of things like how to log into Edsby as a parent, how to log into Edsby as a student, and how to log in as a student um, into Clever. And uh, Darlene's gonna talk a little bit more about that. All right, so students on Friday got a flyer to bring home. So what to do during spring break and it did go over a little bit of the information here and in just a moment we are going to set up our computer and show you each website in detail on how to sign up and sign in stay tuned the first thing that you need to do as a parent is create a my spot account this is the screen here where you're going to need your email address the student number student school their birthday information, you are gonna need the last four digits of their social security number and your relationship. There's head of household and emergency contact. And that website is myspot.sdhc.k12.fl.us. Okay, so after registering your student, you are going to receive an email that is going to ask you to click the link to validate your email address and complete the registration process. Okay, after you do that, you will get a, another email address that's going to explain your account will not be active in SB until the following day. So please give it 24 hours. If you need to add additional students, use the add a student link available. It's going to be found here, add student, and this is what the screen's going to look like here. So after 24 hours have passed, you're going to be able to go to the SB login and that's going to be the website sdhc.edsby.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and log into Edsby. So you're going to use the same information that you use to create your account on MySpot. And from here, you'll be able to see your student, his classes, her classes, and if you have multiple students, you could continue to scroll down. As you can see from here, some teachers do have information uploaded. But as you scroll down, other teachers do not. Please do not be alarmed by that. E-learning does not start until Monday. That is going to be the 23rd. Now we are going to show you how to find your students' assignments. For example, you could click on a class and not my work. Okay, click on the class. From here, you're going to be able to see more communication. You go over to journal. And this is where an assignment will be available for your student. So this is an example of an assignment that will be available for your student. Now backing out of this, we go back to the home screen here. If you clicked on my work, this is where you're going to be able to find their graded work. So it's gonna show in complete assignments, upcoming assignments, ungraded, so forth, so on. Okay, so now let's take a look at how it looks from the student's perspective. They're gonna use their same login that they use for iReady. This is something that they should already know. Okay, so, so far it looks exactly like the parent side, but once you click on the class, there's more options available for your students. So here we have a little survey that the teacher set up. The students do have the option to like, reply, which is great if they have any questions. Okay, let's also go ahead and take a look at the journal and the student's profile. Here we go, it looks just like what it did on the parent side and they go ahead and click and go into their assignment. Your student's EDSB may look a little different than this. Each teacher might set something up just a smidge different than another, but we just wanted to give you an example of some things to expect. Now we're going to show you how to log into Clever. You're going to go to Clever, which is C-L-E-V-E-R dot com, backward slash I-N, backward slash H-C-P-S, and you're going to use your student's 
iReady login information. From there, you can see that Clever is really just a dashboard of other applications. This is where they can access iReady, they can access Myon, and a couple of other apps. Your teacher may use some of these applications for assignments. So we hope that this information was helpful and that it relieves some questions about how to log into Edsby and Clever. Please let your teacher know if you have any questions and we are still waiting for more information from the district as well as administration. Anything else you'd like to add, Darlene? We're all in this together. We are. See you guys soon.